welcome back everybody. Part two here in this single-ended KT88 amplifier build. And I thought I'd just kind of update you on where we are in the process. Still don't have all the parts in yet to build this amplifier, so uh, kind of update you on a few things until then. First and foremost, the transformers are not here. And I had somebody ask me last weekend, I was at the Charlotte Ham Fest most of the weekend, they asked me, how long does it normally take for the EdCore transformers to show up? Because on their website, it says six to eight weeks lead time on just about anything you order. And I told this individual, I said, you know, I've ordered quite a bit from EdCore, and it's usually in the three-week time range. However, I'm sitting at three weeks now and don't have my transformers. So they'll probably prove me wrong this time and take the full six weeks, but uh, we will see. But I do have the chassis and a lot of the parts, and I thought I'd show you that today, as well as here on my website, um, you can get to at blueglow.net, uh, and I'm on the sketches and info tab here. And um, as you can see on here, we have now added the single-ended KT88 amplifier pre-build draft version. So what these are... This is what I ordered my parts based off of, and this was the design that I had finalized on that we were going to build. And so if you click here, there's a link to the uh, build of materials here and, and all the part numbers and the prices and whatnot, as well as the schematic for the power supply and the schematic for the amplifier here. Uh, and then you must read my warning. These are pre-build draft versions subject to change when I build this amp and tweak it. If you are a risk taker, please download as 95% of this is likely to be accurate and used in the final version, especially the chassis and the transformers. So the big dollar ticket items I uh, don't think will change. Smaller values like capacitors, resistors, and such, we may end up tweaking along the way. So if you're willing to order a couple resistors later or make a few small changes here or there, uh, dive on in, please. Go ahead and get your parts on order. Otherwise, if you want to be a, uh, a non-risk taker, a risk-averse individual, you might want to hold off till we get this thing built uh, before you go out there and actually order these parts. So um, it's all there for you, and I've had a lot of requests for that. Originally, I wasn't going to do this, but uh, people will sound like they're willing to take a little risk, so uh, here you go. All right, I ordered a lot of my parts from uh, Parts Connection, C-O-N-N-E-X-I-O-N. -N -E They're out of Canada. And um, one thing I like about them, they carry a lot of different parts. So I was able to get everything from the capacitors I needed for the power supply to this Hammond chassis to the tube sockets to the Kwame resistors, uh, Nikicon uh, caps, some Soling caps. They carry a wide variety. There is a downside to ordering from them. Um, if you're in the U.S., when you submit your order, it'll come up with a zero shipping amount. And a day or two later, someone will reach out to you and say, hey, we've kind of figured up your order, and this is how much shipping is going to be, and then they'll send you a PayPal invoice, and then they'll ship your items a few days later. So there's a little bit of time wrapped up in that, and you don't know exactly what you're going to be spending when you submit your order until you get the invoice back from them. But I've never had any problems with them, and they've been great to deal with. Okay, first let me say this. I really like EdCore. I think they make some great transformers at great prices. They're really good to work with and deal with, and uh, I think they're one of the better things on the market these days, especially if you're not wanting to spend, uh, you know, $1,000, $2,000 for a set of transformers. I think they make some pretty good stuff. However, if I had a gripe about EdCore, right here is what it would be. So I ordered the two output transformers, the power supply transformer and the choke, and then I got to my checkout, and these were my two shipping options, $71.64 or $81.45. Ouch! Um, and I found this as well when I've just ordered two small transformers. So I ordered two small transformers for that uh, KT, I mean, single-ended 807 build, and they were about $40 worth of transformers, and I had about $35 worth of shipping. So just you just got to know that going in with EdCore. The prices may seem really good on their transformers. Their shipping, I think, is uh, pretty significantly high compared to... Because I used to ship a lot of stuff at the last company I worked for, and we had some corporate FedEx accounts, and... Um, I could have shipped this box of transformers for about $25 through FedEx. So 
I don't know whether they're paying for all the packing materials and styrofoam and handling as part of this or what the deal is or not. They're maybe just making money off of shipping, but uh, it seems a little steep to me. Okay, I just opened the box from Parts Connection and um, here we are. I've got my Hammond chassis, which looks great. I've got my uh, F&T power supply capacitor. I've got these uh, Nikicon Muse capacitors. I've got my Solene um, coupling capacitor. I've got a whole bag of these Kwame resistors um, that we'll use in the build. A couple other resistors where Kwame didn't have the right size. And some 9-pin uh, Belton um, tube sockets. Does that look like $146 plus $23 worth of shipping? No! But it is, believe it or not. Um, you know, these resistors here, there's quite a few in the bag, and these things are $1.10 a piece. That adds up quickly, um, as well as you get into these caps, you know, a couple dollars a piece. It, it all adds up very quickly, and, you know, a $20 capacitor. Um, and, it, and that's kind of what it takes sometimes to build one of these amps. But I really like the chassis. I've still got the plastic on it right now, and I'm going to leave it on there for the time being. Um, or maybe not. Let's see what it looks like. Wow, it actually looks really good. Um, nice black. Um, it's kind of a wrinkle finish. Um, comes pre-painted, and it's a steel chassis, so no worry about the heavy transformers. It will be a little harder to work with. That's a, going to be a pretty good size amplifier. Let me give you uh, something here size-wise for comparison. Okay, there you go. You can see this was the single-ended 807 amply built. And this thing, uh, pretty much, if I compare them up side by side there, it pretty much dwarfs this thing. You've got an extra five or six inches here on the end. It's an inch taller. And it's, uh, let's see here. It's the exact same depth as the, uh, the single-ended 807, but it's going to be a big amp. But you got some really big output transformers on this thing. The, the iron on this 807 is will just uh, kind of um, pale in comparison to uh, what's going to be on this big amplifier. So stay tuned. We're having a lot of fun with it, and uh, I'm, I'm also building a... Um, new project. I've been working on a design here recently and breadboarding some for a pre-amplifier to match up with one or both of these. So stay tuned. That'll be the, as soon as we finish this series, we're going to dive into this pre-amp series. Thanks for watching everybody. Hope you have a, uh, a great weekend and we will, uh, we'll be back when we get the rest of these parts in and start on this chassis. Thanks for watching.